All right, this is it guys. It's time to uh, pop this head out. It's super loose now. There we go. guys so you can see we're gonna be taking out this uh, cam trays here I end up taking out this cam trays the cams we're gonna be taking out the heads because I find out that we need bob stem seals because of the exhaust valves are leaking so we decided to just gonna have to uh, take this whole thing apart so that's the plan for this that's the plan All right, here we go. We're gonna have to take the whole thing out at the same time. It will come out at the same time, just like that. All right, guys, so the caps on each end of this thing will come out. Okay, there's a lot of markings on this. Lots of marking. The first cam will come out. All right, like you can see here, uh, right there, look at that spring is out on that cam seal, and that's why it's leaking. Let's quickly show you guys uh, how bad these markings are, especially here. I don't know if this is any good. It will be the center caps right here is the one that got no oil, not much oil. And this one is okay. Cam seals is spring is okay, but look at those markings. My god. That is not good. Um, this is the one with a stamp P1 plus. So I believe somebody messaged me that that's a skunk 2 plus 1 performance on this. Look at that little o-ring right there so there's a lot of misleading information out there about this uh, o-ring right here some people said don't put o-ring some people say put o-ring so I'm not sure anymore what to put this in this case there's no o-ring on here there's no o-ring I don't know if uh, that's not good because I, on my cams, I got lots of marking on each of this uh, area right here, especially on this side. Looks like all the lifters for VTEX are good. This thing has uh, Skunk 2 retainers. Alright guys, check it out. It's pretty much uh, shaved everything around the head here because I will be taking out this head. Um, the thermostat housing, uh, the VTEC solenoid, it's gone. The outlet for the thermostat, somehow they put a silicone gasket here. It's supposed to be just a molded gasket. Uh, the bracket here for the engine mounts, the hook, it's gone. And then the bracket here to the head to the mount is gone as well. Took that off, so it looks like everything is around the head is gone all you need to do is the head bolt so uh, let's start doing that now all right so by the look of this uh, the studs here looks like a APR studs to me 
So using uh, 14 millimeter sockets on those. So we're just gonna crank them loose. Let's go. All right guys, so torque sequence to take out this uh, head bolts is uh, opposite of what you do when you install the head bolts. So torque sequence backwards, we're gonna be working from the outside and going in. That's when you remove the head. And to install the head, we have to install the bolts. You start from the middle and you work your way out. So in this case, we'll be working on the outside and slowly working in on the inside. Alright guys, so all the bolts are super loose. We're gonna zip them off with the impact, makes it faster. Finish it off with the magnet. You can tell here it's gonna be a bolt because whoever did this engine they put a APR stud and that is awesome because the studs are reusable. All right, um, this is it, guys. There we go. My God, they put lots of money and time on this engine. That's crazy. Not sure what brand of pistons are those. And uh, the sleeve. Look at that. All right, we'll quickly clean all those oil out. And look at this. <laughs> There's a nut right here. I think that's a nut for your uh, adjusting the lifters. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Wow. It's inside there. That is the nut to uh, adjust your valve lash. And I don't know if this is normal. There's a hole right here, a big hole. I've seen one that uh, they put a restriction in here for the oil flow. And this one has nothing. So, comments down below, guys, if you are a big uh, H engine out there, it's supposed to have a restriction here or it's just wide open. Same thing on the on the center of that head, there's a caps. There's an O-ring in there. In this case, on mine, there's no O-ring. So I don't know if that's a normal with no O-ring. This is good, guys. We got that. The piston has that dome shape. So always have that carbon on this side here from the exhaust side. Look at those piston go. The cylinder wall is it's pretty good. I could still see uh, that cross hatch on them. This thing has really high compression. 230, 240 all across the board when I did a compression test on them and they are just dry tests and imagine if it's wet test it's probably like 2 280 or something almost 300 psi 
All right, get you guys close, really close on those sleeves. There, see this outside here, that dark. Look at that. Like I said, they put a lot of money and time doing this engine block. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up this piston. Not sure if I'm gonna take them off. It's gonna flip this thing upside down, drain the the oil first, and then take out the oil pan. And uh, we're gonna be doing uh, in the next couple of videos. We're gonna deleting this uh, balancer shaft and then delete those. And then uh, just gonna look at the bottom end of this uh, block, especially the piston. Hopefully, we can see a marking on the piston. What brand they are? H twenty two A four. That's it guys, stay tuned for the next video and then uh, I'll see you again on the next one.